Well, hey, you've got Travels with Dottie again. And this video is requested by several people. And this is how I do my checklist when I leave for a trip. And I'm leaving Wednesday, the 12th of June, 2024. Is today the 12th? No. Today is the Sunday before, so it is the 9th. So why does the video start the Sunday before if I'm leaving on Wednesday? Because this process starts for me several days before I leave. Now, this doesn't count if I'm traveling and I'm moving every single day. That's rare. I stay in one place um, for in the spring, a couple of months, over the winter, like three or four months, in the summer, two weeks at a time. So <clears throat> when I set up camp, I'm pretty spread out. I got a lot of stuff out. There's a lot of stuff to pack up. And here's what I do and what I advise to all of you. Do not, do not leave packing to the day of and not even really the day before. The number, there, 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 there are two things. You want to um, be well rested on your travel day. That's just for road safety. You want to be well rested. You want to be ready to go. You just want to have to do, um, you want to be well rested on your travel day. You want to be alert. You want to be safe. And the best way to be safe is to be rested. So you want a minimal number of things to do on the morning of. Uh, you'll notice that I'm hitched up and pretty much ready to go. And I'm pulling my wheel chocks, bringing in my slide, unhooking my electric, and I'm off. Everything else is going to be done in advance. And especially in an environment like this where I'm in triple digits every day, I'm doing a little bit each day in the morning when it's still cool. So what you're going to see after my little speech here is you're going to see sped up versions of me kind of running around doing stuff starting, um, starting this morning with breaking down chairs and umbrellas and hummingbird feeders and things like that and just getting as much stuff in the back of the truck a couple of days ahead of time. So I won't have a place to sit other than the picnic bench for the last couple of days, but that's gonna be okay. Uh, checklists, I have an extensive checklist. I keep adding on to it. I've been adding on to it for a couple of years and it's so important. And I can't speak for you, but for me, it's easier and easier for me to get distracted and forget things as I age. I'm 64 years old. Uh, I'm, I got it together. I don't, I don't have signs of dementia, but I found that I, I'm more forgetful than I used to be. That's just a fact. And that's just the way it is in a checklist reminds me to do everything. So I don't do things like, let me tell you, this happens all the time. People drive off with their awning still out. They drive off with their electrical still attached. They drive off with their slides open, with their sewer still attached. Um, they try to drive off with the wheel chocks in and not properly hitched. There's, I, and it's not just older folks like us. I, I see younger YouTubers. Um, there was one, I forget what the channel was, but he had a giant fifth wheel with a beautiful truck and uh, he didn't do what they call a tug test on his fifth wheel, like making sure it's everything's completely engaged and boom, he went forward and the fifth wheel smashed down on his tailgate, damaged the whole rear of his pickup truck and the RV. And checklists are important. So. Uh, I'm going to show you running around um, and I'm going to show you every day the things I do over the next few days. And then the morning of, I'm going to attach this camera to my chest and you're going to do a first person view of me, all the things that I need to do to, um, from getting George ready in his cage and putting him in, in the truck and getting Dottie settled and just getting everything done. And the final thing that I do is Everything's hooked up. I'm totally ready to go. I'm ready to drive off. And I sit in the driver's seat 
and no distractions, I pull up my list and I make sure that I have absolutely double checked that I have done everything and everything is checked off. So I hope you guys are gonna like this and here's a fast version of me running around this morning. So I wanted to show you what kind of not thinking and not paying attention can do. Um, I had my, my Bluetooth um, headphones around my neck. I love this thing. And I didn't pay attention to that it was around my neck and I'm crawling around and lifting things and it broke it. Uh, so um, I'm so close to leaving. I probably won't be able to get one delivered, but we'll see. But it pays to pay attention. So it's really hard for me to go without my uh, my my earbuds. Um, so um, I can't get them delivered. Uh, so I'm going to get uh, a similar one. I hope it's just as good for fifty dollars at Walmart today. So um, not paying attention, right? That that. Uh, not paying attention that this was around my neck while I'm packing and moving around stuff and climbing into my truck cost me $50. Learn from me, learn from my mistakes. So, even though it was going fast, like five or six times speed, it took a long time, didn't it? <laughs> well, guys, it does take a long time. Here, let me focus, have it focus on my face here. There we go. So, 
it does take a long time, even though the things that you're doing seem very, very simple. Um, you run into little problems along the way. And one of the things that I did that I have to go back and correct right now, and I'm going to um, I'm going to include that after this because uh, I just realized I forgot to take care of it. Um, I uh, flushed my black tank and I flushed it very well. I flushed it until it was coming out like clear water. Well, um, you might have noticed the part where I was putting away the sewer hose nice and efficiently, um, but I forgot to turn off. <laughs> I forgot to turn off the water, flush water going into the black tank. So about, just about half full it. And I don't want to travel two days with an unnecessary half full black tank. So um, I'm going to go back over there and correct that problem. You know, put it on fast so you don't have to suffer through it. Well, here we are. Um, this is the uh, Wednesday, the morning I'm leaving. We're uh, collecting stuff. I've done a lot, so it's not going to be like a um, a fast, um, uh, you know, sped up me showing you doing everything because I've already done most everything. But I'm going to cover everything that I did. Let's go outside for a sec. I want to get my coffee and stuff inside the truck and there are a number of things that we got to take care of before we pull out you see there's dotty in there ready to go ac's on and so one of the first things i want to do here is um, disconnect the power Everything's off inside. Come in here. I'm going to shut everything down here. Undo the lock. What you do, everything seems to take a little bit longer than you imagine. All right, we are unlocked. I really love these things. Let's see what I'm talking about here. These wonderful things that keep everything well, most of the time. off. That's locked. We'll go back around and go back inside. Before I start moving the slide in and freaking out George, George has been sedated. So there's George. 
I'm gonna bring George into the truck. Just realized I'm going to need a little towel or something to. George shouldn't be at an angle like that. I forgot what I did last time. It's been a couple of months, but get a little towel here. We will make George level. What do you think, George? A little towel in there. Make things level. There we go. All right, George. All right, George is all set. So before I pull in the slide, there are a number of things I want to check in here. One, starting back here, let's make sure this is off. The AC, heat, everything is off. This, uh, Glass top needs to be down. If you leave it up, it will crash down. Anything that's loose needs to go into the sink. Um, and right now, the clock is loose, so we'll put that in there. And um, everything on the desk needs to be secured. And everything's secured. Make sure that we don't have any uh, problems with the slide coming in. When the, Made this mistake before this, uh, well, we need to clean some debris there. You don't want to have something plugged into the, this receptacle here. Um, if you can see that, that receptacle, because uh, moving the slide will crush it. And I've done that before. So I learned my lesson, make sure everything's cleared. We're gonna move, move the slide in. And the one thing you don't wanna have happen on your travel day is a malfunction of the slide, which can derail your whole travel day. Now I see a potential problem up here. Is this gonna clear? Just barely, I think. There's a little bracket on the wall I just put in. But I think it's gonna clear just fine. Just barely. Nope, not really. That's going to have to come off. Okay. That is going to have to come off. How about doing it like that? I think that'll do it. You really have to pay attention. So just that... Something is stopping the slide, and it could be this thing. Something is stopping it. We're not sure exactly what, but we'll take this off completely. So, first time I've ever had a problem with the slide, and you're here for it. Let's go outside and see if we have a problem there. No, it's 
<laughs> it's actually all the way in. So, I was a little fooled by that little issue with the thing. It wasn't an issue. The slide is all the way in. So, slide is in. Loose stuff is on the bed. Um, let's see. Water pump needs to be off. Slide power off. Some people say you need to leave that on. The manufacturer says no. You can turn that off. So all the lights are off. Everything's secured. Windows are closed. So we're going to put the, the stairs up. Go ahead and lock that. Now what I need to do is um, make an adjustment to take out the wheel chocks. So we'll do that right now. So we got these two things came off and then we'll pull, pull forward. So the, the ramps, so, so I can take off the ramp. Should be off. Let's make sure we're in tow haul mode. So this is my temperature sensor, and I forgot to pick it up, and I'm lucky I didn't crush it when I pulled forward. So this is the first thing that I forgot, and I got lucky. That stuff needs to go in the back. I can do it with George, I think. I think there's room in there. There is. Hang on. And we'll, we'll put this, tuck this in here. And later, when I'm complaining that I can't find my temperature sensor, you can put in the comments, Rob, you put it in behind the passenger seat in the pocket. So we will turn on the four-way flashers and uh, go around to this side and I'll turn on the lights. Oh, 
Thanks. So um, I'm doing the, the 360 walk around. Notice that the lights are all on. Um, the four-way flashers are working. I tested uh, the other lights last night. In doing a walk around, I'm going to go back around and um, <clears throat> start over on this walk around. I'm going to start here, right? And I'm going to get down and I'm going to make sure everything looks appropriate here. The chains are attached. The um, um, Should everything become detached, this will come, the safety um, harness will um, engage the trailer brakes. Um, and uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work on there. I had put that temporarily on there. We need to, you don't attach this to the chain because if the chain comes free, guess what? <laughs> this thing, this safety feature is going to do nothing. So um, I'm going to have to get under here again. Maybe you can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure. But this needs to go attached to the frame of the truck. There you go. So another good reason to check everything. Make sure the hotter pins are engaged here. That one wasn't fully engaged. Now it is. All right. The hitch is fully engaged. We'll check the other side when we come around the other side. We're looking for a couple things. Anything that doesn't look quite right or anything that you've left out. I've done that before, like leaving pliers on the, a bumper or something. Making sure that my tote here is secured tight, spare tires tight. The cover on the, for the refrigerator is tight. Caps are tight. Make sure this bar is over, this is locked. That's definitely locked, so the door won't come open. And we want to check, make sure this compartment is locked. And you know what, did we check the other compartment? No, we did not. So anytime you realize you forget something, I go right back to the beginning. So here, this is, this is locked. All right, everything looks good. We're gonna check this side. The cotter pin is in. Um, chains, I checked both sides when I was underneath. Everything looks good here. Connections look solid. So now it is time to switch it up, get in here and uh, go through the checklist. So uh, I'm gonna disconnect this from my neck. You can turn the four ways off. So, um, I did notice one thing here. You can see my backup camera on the left side is the back. The right side is the front. So if I wanted to see my back completely, there's my rear view. So everything's connecting properly. All right. So. All right, so um, in a minute here, after I say goodbye to my neighbors, I'm gonna go through the checklist with you. So I'll, I will be, I promise, I will be right back. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is a list on my iPhone on notes. And notice that it's no particular order because when you do a checklist system on here, it's I haven't figured out how to keep the order the same. Something keeps happening, but everything's on here. So the first thing is weight distribution system. Those are making sure those cotter pins are in. I did that. Um, hitch, make sure I'm hitched, yes. Remote temperature sensor, that's the thing I almost forgot, but I wouldn't have forgotten it. I would have been sitting in here and realized, oh, I didn't pick that up and I would have gotten it. Cell tenant and uh, cell tenant and pole was pulled in on Sunday. Water hose stored, done yesterday. Water pressure regulator was done at the same time. Notice, it, if any time I get to one of these and I can't specifically remember doing it, I stop, get out and check and come back in. Safety chain, we checked that. Solar panels in, there were no solar panels out. Video cameras in times three, that happened yesterday. Secure propane bottles happened yesterday. Propane and fire pit and tank, all were not used on this trip, so it's stored. Awning in, did that yesterday. Bike stowed, did it yesterday. Bring in dog tether, did yesterday. Slide in, did this morning. Little, couple of low problems with that, but it was okay. All lights off inside trailer, you heard me talk about that. Water pump off, I turned it off. Turned off water heater, that was off. Starling stole, stow, done yesterday. Stabilizers up, done yesterday. Brake line, we corrected a, a critical problem with that. Remember, it was kind of temporarily, um, when I stowed it, put it on the chain, and I hooked it up that way, and I realized if the chain comes loose, chain breaks or something, uh, there's gonna be nothing to stop the trailer. So that was a good call. Close windows, done. Connect backup camera, that's, it's, I'm looking at the backup image, it's working just fine. Uh, turn off furnace, we did that. Electrical is stowed, we did that. Uh, heater is off wall, that was done. Uh, there was no heater, because it's so hot. Um, trailer electric line, taken care of, stale rail in, leveling blocks in, hitch lock engaged, yes. I raised the tongue, done yesterday, turn off propane. Refrigerator locked, done. Wheel chock stole, done this morning. Put down glass stove cover, important. It'll shatter when it comes down. It's done. Secure all loose items inside, I did that. Compartments locked, checked that. Stairs up, checked that. Um, you know what? I didn't double check the end compartment. So you're not seeing me do this, you're still hearing me, hopefully. Um, I just wanna make sure this last compartment is securely locked, and it is. So I had vague memories of locking that compartment, but not really specific memories of locking that compartment. So, okay, stairs up, done, slide cleared, door locked. Propane off, 360 walk around, I did that. Here, here's, <laughs> here are three good ones. Are you being careful, Rob? Yes, I am. Did you go slow? Yes, I did. And damn, Rob, make sure. <laughs> so that, that's gonna complete everything, I am ready to go. Oh, that'll end this video on the checklist and the checklist I'm gonna put into the description. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you learn from my mistakes. Take care.